100% Chelsea. Lawrence, mate. That was all right, wasn't it? 3-0. This is this going well, isn't it? Like, Thursday we win. wasn't great, but today we win, and it was great. Matt scored. He did again. Uh, going hand in hand with your tweet. Exactly. Like, you know, I've been to six games that Morata was involved in, scored five goals. A bit irrelevant that one of them was a hat-trick game, but still. Yeah, glaze over that. Yeah, glaze, glaze over that. No, it was good. Like, you know, basically we got after half hour, full hour and um, 90 minutes. So, you know, quite separate that into thirds. No, but I was quite happy with it the first half. We didn't create that much. We hit the bar. I think a deflected William shot hit the bar. And then we obviously scored through Hazard, which was Barkley did really well. Won that, won that ball back and then played Hazard through nicely. Good finish. You know, I was happy with that. There's no complaints about that. Other than that, we didn't do that much in the first half. Like, we controlled the game, dominated the game. And they didn't really do, have much either. But we didn't create that much. And then second half, it just got better, obviously, that, that um, second goal with the William. Fair enough, that was actually a good free kick to Giroud. That bicycle was ridiculous. Like, I'm still not sure whether he actually tried to score, whether he tried to assist it, but... I could do that in my sleep, mate. Of course you could. Also, your beard is as great as his. Thank you! It's about as much sarcasm in that as, as, he, as he could do that bicycle assist. No, no but, Jenny, I was, I was just shocked. Like, normally people just point out the patchy bit. But thank you, Lawrence. That makes me feel better about myself. Unlike our cameraman who was calling me a fat bastard earlier. And titwank. And fat bastard! Yeah, cheers. Cheers, cheers, Josh. Thanks. <laughs> 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 Did not expect that, but fair play. <laughs> anyway, no, let's crack on with the rest of the game. Well, 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 no, that was good. Um, and then obviously Murata came on, missed the 1v1. To be fair, like he put it under the keeper and the keeper just about got enough on it that he doesn't cross the line. So it wasn't like he put it wider against Arsenal last year. It was a bit better than that, but he still didn't score. Then he got another one late on, which was actually a good goal. Like there was a lot of nice passing in that and Hazard putting Murata through late on and he just put it in. Like it's a 3-0 win. I mean, we can't, can't, can't really complain. Like, nah. Southampton did have the chances. I, don't, like, I know we were singing, like, that's why you're going down and stuff. Southampton aren't bad. Southampton aren't as bad as the table might make them Sparky's look bad. Sparky's making them look bad. Maybe. Fair enough. Okay, I mean, you can always say football is a, you know, you have to score goals, otherwise you don't get results. So football is a results-based game. I get that. But they did have chances against us. And I wouldn't necessarily say that was because we were awful at times. It was just like they created some decent chances. Yes, there was an odd mistake in there that helped them create chances. I get that. But, you know, you're always going to get that. You're always going to get a mistake or two in a game. Like, that's, it's football. It's 90 minutes of football. You, you're going to get mistakes. And they had the chances. And Kepa made some great saves. Two or three very, very good saves when it was 2-0 mostly. And it was good. I mean, he's proven himself game by game. Like, literally at the start, he looked a bit shaky for, like, set pieces and stuff. But he's getting more confident. His distribution is getting better and better. And you can't, can't really ask for much more. Like, I didn't have... There was not one player I'd, you know, complain about today. And you know, I still don't think Aspie is kind of fluid enough under the system. I, I, I think the legs are gone. I, th I, th I think that's what it's come down he's to. He's not even 30 yet. Players' legs don't just run away without oh, before, no, without think, injury before well, they're 30. That doesn't happen. I, I, don't, I don't think it's it maybe. It's, I just think it's age 29, 30. You know, it's it's that it's that kind of tipping point, and it either happens earlier or later. To be fair, I just I think because of the way we've played so far, when Aspi was in the team, we didn't really notice that he isn't that quick. Because he either played centre back on a Conte, or played left back on a Mourinho who's defensive, so that fullbacks don't really have to run after someone that much because they're kind of like trying to basically defend one, one we've won rather than running after them when they're hitting us on a counter kind of thing so I, th I think Asby has never been as quick as some of us thought he was and we're kind of seeing that I'm not saying Asby is bad by any stretch of the imagination of course not of course not I still think I, I still think most of it isn't even down to pace I still think some of it is like awareness and first touch and first pass like first touch passing that can improve but that is something that can be worked on you know maybe it just takes a little bit longer than some others but i don't think he's incapable of doing so so i think it's all good like i said don't really have anything to complain about so this is great yeah, well happy days well if you haven't already see lawrence does a live review whenever he's at the games uh so make sure you check that out there'll be a link to that down in the description obviously there'll be something on the card up there that's the right hand side of the screen right josh that, that side yeah, so there, up there, above Lawrence's head, you'll find his live review. But as well, guys, make sure you subscribe to 100% Chelsea. Also, should be links are down in the description of Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. And we'll see you during and after the international break. Take care.